in Jude's epistle, he's telling us that uh, we, we need to be aware and we need to be warned that there's going to be sneaky false teachers who sneak into the church. He says that they are going to face a judgment for what they are doing in Jude's day as well as in ours. He starts out by saying in verse 5 that he wants to put us in remembrance of these things because even the Israelites that didn't believe God, he said they were destroyed those who believed not. Then he says this in verse 6, the angels which kept not their first estate but left their own habitation, yet reserved in everlasting chains under darkness, under the judgment of the great day. Now, that's a fascinating verse, and Peter has something to say that's very, very similar to that. Second Peter chapter 2 and verse 4, For if God spared not the angels that sinned, but cast them down to hell, and delivered them into chains of darkness, to be reserved unto judgment. Chains of darkness. Now, that... That just, <clears throat> that just sounds ominous and terrible, doesn't it? Well, I'm sure that it is. But the point is, is that mankind that doesn't believe God and rebels against God is going to face judgment, <clears throat> as well as angels that have rebelled against God. Now, Jude tells us they didn't keep their first estate. What does that mean? Well, they didn't stay where God put them. They, they, didn't, they didn't operate in the realm that God placed them in. They changed, they moved without God's permission. I think Genesis chapter six tells us the story of these angels. It says in verse one, it came to pass when men began to multiply on the face of the earth and daughters were born unto them, that the sons of God saw the daughters of men that they were fair and they took them wives of all which they chose. And the Lord said, my spirit shall not always strive with man for that he also is flesh, yet his days shall be an hundred and twenty years." There were giants in the earth in those days, and also after that, when the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men, and they bare children to them, the same became mighty men of old, men of renown. This does a couple of things. First of all, it tells us where the giants come from. Secondly, <clears throat> it helps us understand just why, uh, one of the reasons why it was so unbelievably sinful prior to the flood and in the flood, God destroys all of this angel-human intermarriage offspring that he had never instructed, never wanted, that they had done. So they had left their first estate, their habitation, and they had come to the realm of men. And they had done something that was unthinkable. And as a result of that, those particular angels, not all of the wicked angels that have fallen, but that group are reserved, Jude tells us, in these everlasting chains of darkness. What an incredible uh, thing to think about. And it says, unto the judgment of the great day. Now, what's the point? Why, why does Jude tell us this? Well, he's giving us an example. He's saying, <clears throat> as we look to the past, we see when the Israelites disobeyed God and didn't believe God, there was a, a penalty for that. There was a consequence for that. When the angels disobeyed God and didn't do what God told them to do, there was a penalty for that. There's consequences for sin and there is judgment for that. And as a matter of fact, that particular group of angels are still locked up to this very day, awaiting the judgment that's coming from God. Why is Jude telling us this? Because he's warning us, he's giving us a warning to <clears throat> sneak into the church with the intention of doing damage, of subverting the work of God, of trying to introduce false doctrines, uh, of, of taking uh, cultic ideas, occult ideas, uh, and introducing them, false religious ideas, idolatrous ideas, and introducing them into the church. There will be consequences for that. That's what he's telling us. So I just want to encourage you today, um, stick to the word of God, follow Jesus, keep your eyes on him, and you'll know the truth, and the truth will set you free. God bless you. Have a great day.